if you are into e-commerce business, if you are selling products online, and if you want to list on Google or if you want to run Google Ads, you might go through the Google Merchant Center and you realize your Google Merchant Center is facing through the policy violation and somehow Google Merchant Center doesn't allow you to list or activate or publish the products on Google Merchant Center and it is facing a lot of issues as well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix those issues, how to fix the policy violation you face on Google Merchant Center and allow your products to be activated, to be published on Google Merchant Center so you can run the Google Ads smoothly and effectively on Google's. So let's get started. Myself Hardy from ecomhardy.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix all these issues. So stay tuned, watch this video till the end and do not miss out any single step. Now, if I go to Google Merchant Center and if I go to products here, somehow I see the error or notification here that fix all the setup policy issues from Google, prevent your products from showing on Google. And you see all the products are not approved, which is very crazy and frustrating. Here are the steps how to fix them. Now, first of all, if you see this kind of error or notification, simply click to fix button here. So once I click to fix button, Google will show you what sort of policy violation it is and how to fix it. Although the provided data from the Google is very vague and very brief, it doesn't provide exact explanation and it is kind of confusing so many times. Now here I can see the policy violation is under misrepresentation. You can see based on the information Google have checked about the business, it is showing all the recommended steps here. So now let me go through the step by step and guide you here how to fix it. First step is provide the transparency about your business identity. So what happens is if I go to Google and search for the similar stores here, if you see advertising of the products, these stores are approved by Google. So if I click to any of these products and go through their websites, there are two example websites here. So if I scroll down here all the way, you see lots of information on the footer page. First of all, they have provided contact us form, which is like how customers can contact to the support of this website. They also provided about us page, frequently asked question. So if I go to about us page, they have a lot of information about them. If you see, they have all the followers links like from the social media, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Google. So that's what you have to do. Make sure on the footer, you provide all of the relevant information as much as you can. In most cases, if you provide direct contact information like mobile number or support email address, or even if you have chat functionality on your website active like here, it is great. Now, second thing is make sure you have all the policies available on the footer page third thing is make sure you provide all the thumbnails of the payment gateways you accept on your website to improve the authenticity and this is very important google will reject your website if you do not show this kind of thing here so make sure you show if you are accepting a google pay payment apple pay mastercard paypal stripe uh, visa shop etc then make sure you provide the information or the logos here as well. Fourth thing is make sure you provide, if you have any ABN information available, business registration number in Australia, it's called ABN, but in your country, it could be different. So if you have business registration number available, make sure you provide that information here as well. And apart from that, if you have frequently asked question page or any other pages available, like contact us page and about us page uh, information available, then feel free to check and provide the links here, which will also increase the value of your website. Now, once you finish that, if I go back to here, you see second thing is for the online reputation, showing the reviews and highlight any badges or seals of approval. So if I go to that website again, and if I go to the homepage of that website, and if I go to some of the products, you can see here there are star, uh, star ratings available on the website. That means it is showing some authenticity as well of the products. So the reputation of that particular website products can be increased by showing the reviews and customer can have more confidence buying from that website. The third thing is professional design. So if I go to that website again, and if I check the design, it is very nice. You see on the header, on the menu, they have provided the menu bar here. There is a logo. 
search bar here, login, card page, and on the menu as, as well, I can see the menu is properly designed. So make sure you do that as well. Other thing is SSL certificate. So if I go to that website, and if I click on that URL here, this is on Google Chrome, by the way, but you can check on Microsoft Explorer as well. But if I click on to this place here, you can see it's showing connection is secure. That means it's certified with SSL. If I go back here, you can see all the information, add privacy and cookies and all other data is also mentioned here, which is great. This is very important. If the connection of your website is not secure, Google will reject it and Google will not allow your website products to be listed on Google Merchant Center. Now let me go back and find other information like provide information in the business information settings in Google Merchant Center. So let me go back again. If I go to business info here on the left hand side panel, I have hidden all the data, but in this case, make sure you provide all the information like business details, business name, address, customer contact details, support email address, mobile number, if the chat function is available or not. And you can always click to edit button and add all this information. Other thing is like make sure your store is verified by Google. If it's not, make sure you edit online store and go through the verification process as well. Now, once you check all these things, let me go back to the same page. So click to fix button. And the last option showing follow SEO guidelines, improve your eligibility for seller rating and match your product data in your merchant center with your online store. As I, as I mentioned earlier, Make sure you have all the seller ratings available and you can show it where possible. Another thing which is not mentioned here, I would highly suggest you to check is if I close it here and go to settings and click to add-ons and make sure you check what sort of add-ons you are using. So if you go to your add-ons and if you are using some of the add-ons which are not recommended or not approved by Google, make sure you remove them for time being. So just imagine if I am using this particular add-on which is called free local listing but my business is not locally listed on Google then Google will reject it. So better simply go to your add-ons and click to remove it. If same way customer reviews so if my Google customer reviews are not available on the website and I do not have enough reviews of my business then I would remove that add-on as well. Same way local inventory ads I would remove if I'm not listing the free local product, if I'm not listing the local products. So be mindful of those things. And once you do so, go back. Next thing you have to check is shipping and returns. So click to that and make sure you provide the perfect return policy and shipping policy of your website. If you're using Shopify, it is much easier because on Shopify, you can use Google and YouTube sales channel. By the way, if you're not using Shopify and if you want to try out the Shopify, feel check it out, ecomhardy.com forward slash Shopify to get $1 per month for three months trial. And you would know what I'm talking about because you are not using Shopify, you're missing out a lot of things on your business. So you can see this website, is using Shopify and they have connected directly using the Google and YouTube app or sales channel. And the data of the shipping policies is directly integrated through the Google and YouTube app or sales channel, what I'm saying. And if I go to written policies, if you do not have written policies assigned, make sure you click to add written policy and you assign written policies of all the available countries you are shipping to and all the return policies you are allowing. This will also help Google to identify whether you accept return or not, and it will mark your products that way. Now, another thing, if I go on the left-hand side panel, simply go to store quality, and here under the store quality, make sure your store overall quality is better than good. If it's not good, or if it's lower than good, your store would have high chances that being rejected by Google. So be careful and to follow or make it great, just simply scroll down and check it out all this information provided by Google. So here you can see I have provided written window, written policy, shipping policy here and what, what are the payments this website accept and so on. I can also opt in to Google customer reviews, but if the store doesn't have enough reviews, then I would highly recommend you not to opt-in for now. 
Once you have more than 50 authentic reviews received, then only you can just opt into this program. Now, another thing is opt into promotion. If you want to, you can always opt in. But for now, I would say not to opt in. Let Google approve your account. And then once you are having lots of orders, once you are having more than 50 reviews, or I would say you can have right time to opt in. Apart from that, if you go to settings here and general account settings or options, check it out all the options here and make sure all the data is correct. That's it. That's how you can fix all these things. And once you fix, you simply go to this fix button again and make sure you click to disagree with issue and it will allow Google to auto check again. And next time someone else will personally check your account and they will review and approve your account. Hope this video will help you to fix the critical issue you are facing. And if it's so, comment me in comment box below if your issue is resolved or not. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, I would highly suggest you to comment me in comment box below and I would love to reply you as soon as possible. Thumbs up to this video. It will encourage me to make more and more YouTube videos on this channel. Also subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon if you are new to this channel and you will not miss out my very useful content just made for you. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.